Hey everyone, welcome to Phantom Wars. We are here at the Concord Convention Center going to go into the Charlotte Comic Con uh, for summer. And they have them every four months. And we're hoping to get some interviews with some really cool people. And let's see what happens. We were lucky enough to speak with Noah Salt. He is best known for his artwork in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Last Ronin and The Last Ronin The Lost Years. I'm Noah Salt. Tell us how it is to be able to be recognized for your great artwork on The Last Ronin. Oh, uh, well, honestly, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's kind of like everything you dream about when you're a little kid. People coming up to you and saying, oh, you're the Last Ronin artist or you're the TMNT artist. It's just a great feeling. It really is. <laughs> so how many overall Team T uh, comics, regular comics, have you done? Uh, so I done four covers for the regular TMNT ongoing series and then I've done ten covers for the Lost Ronin series including Lost Years and uh, then I've done a few other covers for Electric Black and stuff like that. How old were you when, when you actually started to get to the point where you're like I want to draw? Oh I think I got my first comic book when I was five and then from there on I was like I'd like to do this one day. So pretty young. Very cool. <laughs> who, uh, when you were growing up and you started doing that, who was someone you really loved to enjoy to draw? Uh, well, Andy Kubert was one of the Kubert brothers were some of my favorites on the Wolverine title. So I was always trying to draw Wolverine in their style to see if I could get as good as they were. Who did you collect when you were growing up? Mm, well, I collected lots of TMNT, uh, lots of Wolverine, X-Men. Uh, all those big titles when I was a kid, and the Punisher. I always liked the Punisher too. How was it to actually meet Eastman? Have you have you met Eastman? I've met a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of Kevin people. Eastman. I mean, the co co creator. I, I've Turtles. met Kevin Eastman in passing. I, I'm doing a show with him down in Orlando in September, so hopefully I get to hang out with him a little bit there. Who have you found that's been the nicest in the whole industry that you got to play with? Uh, one of the nicest guys I ever met. Don't tell him I said this, was Ben Bishop, who I've worked with on uh, Last Ronin and uh, TMNT. He's a super nice guy. Don't ever tell him I said that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Check out some more of Noah's art on his Instagram handle, Noah McNasty, and you'll be able to see a lot more of his covers and other inside drawings. My favorite part of any con will always be the cosplayers. They have such great imaginations and ingenuity to build their own costumes. It's great. And this year's Charlotte Comic Con for the summer was no different. Hey, my name is Hope. Okay, I'm dressed as Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells live stage tour. And if you'd like, I, I'll sing a little I'll sing a little bit for you. When there's music inside of you. Someday you know that it's got to come through. And that's why we're here. We're telling you true. We're coming out of our shells. Awesome. Thank you. We love you. Something that is unique to conventions is that you, the patron, get to go see vendors that create their own merchandise. And this is really cool stuff that you might not see anywhere else. We spoke to James House about his specialized merchandise. I do uh, wood burnings by hand. Everything you see is drawn by hand and burnt in by hand by me. Then I go back in and I uh, put the watercolor to add the color to it to give you the, the old comic book uh, color and style. Do you have a favorite one? Uh, I have a favorite one. Uh, the storm down there on, that's on the table right now is one of my favorite ones. And I also love doing Wolverines. Oh, it's, okay. Um, Wow, man. So, how long have you been doing this? I've been drawing, doing wood burning for about 20 years. I've been drawing all my life. I've got a degree in advertising. Uh, I do a lot of portraits and stuff like that also. If you'd like to contact James about one of his wood burnings, you can go to his website, woodburningsbyhouse.com, his Facebook, or Instagram. Independent movies are promoted at cons like these, and one such promoter is Mark Ash, or Mean Mark Ash. Well, Mark Ash, uh, you know, in the wrestling world, I was known as Mean Mark Ash, um, and of course that 
I moved into, I mean, I did a little bit of acting prior to my wrestling career, but I moved back into wrestling after the wrestling career. So that's why I'm at the Charlotte Comic Con promoting some upcoming movies. Um, this one here has just been released. Uh, it's currently available pay per view on Vimeo. Should hit Tubi and Voodoo and some other places in around October. The Madness, uh, which is a zombie movie, which is this is my promo shot from it that they gave me. Um, that's supposed to hit Tubi around Halloween week. Um, the Coke Squatch, which has got Wes Harper from Naked and Afraid in it. Um, we actually, we don't start filming that until the 13th, but I am promoting that as an upcoming process that we're doing. And as I was telling Brent, the best actually last week was in five film festivals. We won four of them, and the one that we didn't win, we were still a finalist. So we're, we're happy about that. That movie's getting some good press. And like I said, as I mentioned, it should hit Tubi around October. You can't wait. It's available for pay-per-view on Vimeo, $4.99 to buy, $2.99 to rent. So when did you get started? How did you get into the uh, horror genre? Well, back in 1986, I was actually in the uh, Trick or Treat movie that starred uh, Mark Patton, uh, Gene Simmons, and Ozzy Osbourne were in it. I mean, you watch it, you don't see me, but I was in the final concert scene at the end. I was part of the crowd. And we were kind of being fed to the movie studio, which was kind of new in Wilmington, North Carolina at that time, by our drama department through the high school. Um, it's just, you know, I wanted to be a wrestler, so as soon as I got out of high school, I went that direction. But, I mean, think about it, it's a lot of acting, it's a lot of selling, it's a lot of, you know, working with the crowd. And How far did you get as uh, with wrestling? Well, that was just something I always wanted to do. So, I mean, I just used connections, you know, through my father, because he was an entertainer as well, you know, to get into, you know, get trained to get into that, you know, once I got out of high school. Okay. So, at what point did you uh, get to do some of the fun work that you're doing? This year, believe it or not, this year. We filmed uh, The Madness in March. That was the first film I've done probably since like 2007. Um, the way I got into that is because I also run a Comic-Con business, Universe Comic-Con. Um, Madison Warren Combs, she's played in a lot like a Tyler Perry movies, a monogamish, and some other stuff. I contacted her because she was fairly low. She also lives in Wilmington. Um, which I mean, I live right outside of Raleigh, but she lived in Wilmington. So I contacted her about appearing on a con I was doing in Wilmington and she was the one that brought me back into the to the acting gig she's like hey I we need people for a movie would you like to come be in it <laughs> so we, we did it and it bit me and I'm still there <laughs> I'm glad you've stuck around to the end one of our best segments ever is about a brand new up-and-coming comic company called fate 68 take a look what's going on guys I don't know, maybe some of y'all know, some of you don't. My name is Jay Conley. I'm the owner of Fate 68, and I'm one of the new characters in all the new Marvel movies and Stranger Things season five when we ever get started to film again. I'm hanging out here at the Charlotte Con with my man over here, John Dale. Give everybody a shout out. Yo, what's going on? One of our guys. He's one of my. Okay. I promise you that wasn't for me. Um, He's one of our artists here that does some of our comics. We're actually giving away some of our free books that are related to the new movie, uh, J.P. Cummings, that'll be hopefully coming out really soon. Uh, that's uh, up right now on all the cool stuff we got. We're trying to move a lot, so if you happen to be in the area or if you see this much later, you can go to our website at Fate68Comics. That's comics with an X at G, uh, dot com. Or email us at www. God, I got it all backwards here, man. All right, we'll put this up. There you Thank go. You so, much. so, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, that screaming just got me all distracted. I don't know what else to do. We got the stuff. Come see us. And then follow my man here. He's going to have some of his books. He works for us as well. John Dale Sneed. You'll know him because he does the Transformers. Uh, look at that. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. So. Yep, check us out, and whenever the strike's over with, check me out when we get these movies done. Later. Sure, absolutely, and it is Greg Bo, it's not Greg. Yeah. No, nah, you're all right. Yeah, this is uh, Gamora with Gamora Sisters, Gamora cosplay cover that I did for Fate 68, and I believe that this is the um, trade paperback for dolls. So be sure if you guys can get it, get out there and take a chance. And uh, you get the chance to get it, be sure and get it, and uh, be sure and uh, watch the channel. Hey, I'm Jamie Lynn. All right, Jamie, uh, tell me how did you get picked 
to be the uh, face of the comic? <laughs> well, I actually started out as an editor here at Fate 68 Comics, and Jay, the owner, wrote me into doing some modeling for the covers as well. So that's all right. What all covers have you been on, or what all have have you promoted with the character so far? So so far, we've done uh, a couple different um, movie poster type covers um, for the J.P. Cummings uh, series. Um, those are the only ones I've done so far. The other series I haven't been involved with from a modeling standpoint, just editing. So go check out Fate68Comics.com. That was awesome. We got to talk with a lot of people today. So <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed what we got to see and all the cool costumes and all the cool people we talked to. And we will be back hopefully very soon. And we'll see you then.